How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, I'm excited to share a message with everybody. So welcome one, welcome all. Hopefully everybody is able to get in and log on to this live. So several years ago, I was when I was growing up, I guess in my early 20s, I had a brother, Steve, and uh, I was talking to him one time and we were trying to figure out what we want to do with our life, right? You know, when you're 20, 21 years old, you're really trying to figure stuff out. And uh, he just looked at me and said, John, whatever it is you want to do, just go do it because no one's going to do it for you. The world doesn't owe you anything. If you want something, go out and get it. Just work really hard and get it. And that really stuck with me, uh, hearing it from my older brother. And he went out and he got a degree in finance. He got a, another, he's got two degrees, either finance and one in business. He went out, got a really good corporate job in New York, and he's done a lot of things with his life. And I decided to go another direction. I went to the entrepreneurial direction. I went to college for a couple of years, decided it wasn't for me, but then I got out and just worked my butt off uh, many times and uh, built several businesses. I've been doing that for pretty much most of my life. And uh, I've learned a lot of things over the last two decades. And one thing I've learned is how to find a real business opportunity and what to look for. Uh, what needs to, to, what they need to have and things of that sort. Network marketing, I've had success in network marketing. I've had success in different businesses. And the reason I've had success in network marketing is A, I work hard. B, I do look for opportunities that are real. And when I saw this and I started dissecting everything, I started vetting this company. Uh, one thing I noticed really quickly is this has mass appeal. It uh, You can duplicate this very easily if you really, really work at it and learn it and learn what it is that we're offering people. The average person, typically in network marketing, they don't make any money. When, when you read the studies and you really research this industry as a whole, one to 3% of people make money in this industry. One to 3%. And there are many reasons why. And most of them, have to do with most of the models weren't duplicatable. They they just weren't, or the products didn't have enough appeal, or they were saturated, or there, there's always something. Or maybe they were about to make money and the company went under because they had lack of financing, lack of funds, lack of capital, things like that. There's all sorts of things that that come into play. So when I looked at this company and I saw that the chairman is worth a few billion dollars, uh, I saw that investors came in recently with an additional $500 million. I saw a company where the flagship product, one of them, is a debit card. And I'm thinking, well, everybody's got a deb debit card. Who needs to teach somebody how to swipe a debit card, how to use a debit card? Who needs to teach people how to do online banking? And I thought, well, that's really, really neat. And then... I'm looking at cryptocurrency and I'm looking at blockchain and anyone who studies cryptocurrency and studies the blockchain, you, you, you start really quickly realizing that that's the future. Everything's going, you know, somebody just got married the other day. It was a couple of days ago. It was all over the news. They got married on the blockchain. They, they recorded their marriage on the blockchain. And what the blockchain does is it helps you to record things and they can't be changed, they can't be altered, they can't be moved. It keeps business people honest is what it does. And people love it. They're just rallying to it. It is decentralized. It's a way for all sorts of things to happen. And when you look at the hottest things in the blockchain right now in cryptocurrency, it's DeFi, which is decentralized financing is what it stands for. And uh, go, go to Coinbase. I don't know if anybody who has Coinbase, but a lot of people do. You know, you can get a loan against Bitcoin right now. You can take loans against Bitcoin, which is really cool. That's <laughs> DeFi type stuff, decentralized financing. Staking pools where you can earn a passive income, staking cryptocurrency. There's a lot of ways to earn in cryptocurrency right now. And it's just a really exciting thing. And a lot of companies are loving the blockchain. They're loving everything to do with cryptocurrency. There's the DFT market, which are the, um, or sorry, the NFT market, long day, which is non-fungible tokens. And uh, for example, uh, Ecomi is one of my, my personal favorites. And uh, just a lot of things. And these are where companies want to 
either place patents or they want to put place licensing or they want to you know prove this is a real product or service or whatever it may be there's a lot of applications for it that's one of the hottest things now in cryptocurrency so when i was looking for an opportunity i thought well gosh here's someone dealing with blockchain they have an open source blockchain what does that mean well it's simple it means that other people can come on and add their pro projects and products and services and everything to our blockchain and what that does is it brings people in and it brings people to us because we have our own cryptocurrency g999 and we're building this massive community and the more people in the community the more value the coin's going to get most likely that that's how it typically works is all supply and demand and at the same time we're burning this coin we're burning it and we're burning it in very clever ways We've brought 93,000 people into this company in the first three months. 93,000 paid people. That means 93,000 people will most likely be ordering a card. And they're going to be out there swiping that card. And every time those 93,000 people swipe that card, and thousands of people are, are joining this company every single day, over 30,000 a month on average, and we haven't even launched yet, they're swiping that card five cents of that swipe goes towards our token, our coin, and it burns it. What does that mean? It means that those five cents worth of coin, they're no longer available. They're gone. They're kaput, and they just disappear. So it's decreasing our supply of coins, and they're going to continue to burn them, continue to burn them. And as thousands and thousands of more people come, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, a couple million people come into this, and they're burning those coins every time they swipe a card, what's going to happen to the value of our asset that we that we have here as members we have access to? And we can get at discounts through bots in our back office if we're members of this company. And that's just one, one of many, many, many things that this platform offers. When you want to build a, a, a business and you want to earn money, you want to find a business that the average person can earn money as well. Because the numbers don't lie, guys. Go, go look them up. Most companies, 1% to 3%, that's it. That's it. And that's how it's been for a long, long time. It's the guys at the very top. Guys at the very top making all the money. But what if you can come in and make it true passive? And when I talk about passive income, I'm not saying, hey, we're going to guarantee you 1% a day, 2% a day, all that kind of stuff. Because typically those are the companies the USI techs of the world, and they get shut down within six months a year. They're gone. They're done. Pay to play. They're not, it's not, it's not, it's got to be real. It's got to be compliant. It's got to be legal. Would be, would, it's really nice. Swiping a card on a debit card is compliant. Staking cryptocurrency and earning rewards off of staking is compliant. Paying out residual incomes for referrals off of everything we're doing, how it's set up, is compliant. It's real. I make 18% anytime I sponsor somebody into this organization. He or she purchases an annual package. I make 18%, and I get paid in real time. The second they order that, I get paid. And it goes down nine levels like that on a unit level. I can build wide, and you're thinking, well, what if you're not a major network marketer? Okay, fine. What if you're just a consumer? There are some major problems and major issues that we have solutions for. One of them being this. Simple. How much money do you think is sent around the world from country to country, ethnicity to ethnicity, every month? I can tell you right now, just here in American America alone, the Spanish population, Latino population, I should say, really, because it's not just Spanish, there's all sorts of, but Latino population here in the United States, $38 billion was sent to South America last year, just from the United States. $4 billion paid in fees last year alone from one, one group, Latino, from one country to South America. Worldwide, it's trillions of dollars are spent. How would you like to tap into that as a business owner and offer a solution where people can send money back and forth across the world in 100 countries for free and receive the money within seconds. I've done it. I've done it with GSL. I've done it with my back office. 
I've been the recipient of it, and I've sent zero fees. That is a major, major plus, a major feather in our cap. How many people would like to be able to tap into a trillion dollar industry for $149 a year that you pay to tap in that? $20 a month to be a card holder. Let's talk about the $20 a month a little bit. $20 a month. First of all, I'm going to back up a little bit here. The new MLM, I said, okay, 1% to 3% makes money. That's typically that's that's typically what it's been. But there is a new MLM. There's a new way of doing things. In fact, I I, I rarely do this, but I'm going to thank the FTC because <laughs> I, mean, I, I rarely thank regulators. But they've done something, and a few businesses have followed this model, and these few businesses are doing very well, this being one of them. They're saying now, you know what? At least 51% of your members need to be customers or it's pay to play and it's not compliant. Also, you cannot force somebody to pay every month to earn money or it's not compliant. Those are two major. Do you know what that's doing? That is evening, it's leveling the playing field. So the average person can come in and earn money. That's exactly what it's doing. So you're not going to see 1% to 3% in a company like this. Let me ask you this. If you want to create wealth, do you want to get into a program where you can make $50,000 in five, four or five months, and then all of a sudden you're looking for another one because it got shut down or people stopped signing up at the bottom and so all the money ran out at the top? Or what? We've all seen them. We've all seen it. Do you want to do that or do you want to create wealth, sustained wealth with our owner, our chairman, who became a billionaire in this arena, who knows us inside and out, frontwards and backwards, and the two banks that we've partnered with, Gold Standard Bank and Veil vale LTD out of London, whose clearinghouse just happens to be Lloyd, uh, sorry, <laughs> Barclays Bank, which is massive. They've given us a MasterCard, and they haven't just given us a MasterCard. They've given us a complete back office and a solution to real problems. Number one, the remittances. Now we have a solution for it. Hey, send your family member from here to here, this country to this country, money for free. Anytime you want, send them money. And they'll be on the receiving end. They'll be really happy because there's no fees paid. Then number two, moving your cryptocurrency around. Sure, you've got BitPay and you've got other cards. Let's talk about BitPay. Let's talk about BitPay versus GSL. BitPay is a preloadable Visa card. That's it. You can preload it and you can spend it. It's got its limits, it's got its fees, it's got everything, but it's basically, here's a card, you can preload it, and that's all it is. That's it. Do they pay you a commission residually for referring others? No. Do they allow you to stake and earn a passive income? No. Do they give you discounts on travel? No. Do they give you discounts on shopping? No. Do they give you an opportunity to have a gold savings account, a crypto savings account? Do they allow DeFi? Are they going to give you a loan against their coin or token? Oh, wait a second. They don't have a coin or token. They're very, very limited. And guess how big BitPay is? Guess how big it is? It's massive. It's huge. They've got tons of clients all over the place. Think about what you've got right here. You've got everything BitPay offers, just a whole lot more, and you're able to offer it and, re and earn a residual income. Even better, what if you had an opportunity where you can go to another country, because money is not the same everywhere, right? $20 USD is not the same in America than it is in maybe the Philippines or places in South America or Vietnam or wherever, what if you can go and say, hey, you can sign up for free, you can start referring others, and you can start earning a commission before you pay a dime. Before you pay any money, you can earn a commission. What if you can do that? You can here. How many other places can you do that? Unless you pay, you don't play, right? That's why they call it pay to play. Unless you pay, you can't play. <laughs> That's exactly what they're cracking down on. You can earn a commission before you spend a penny here. 
that opens it up for everybody. That's what the regulators want to see. That's what makes it a fair, even playing field. And that also opens it up to everybody. I hear this all the time. You know, I love my team. I, I, I'm in this business because I care about people and da-da-da. Okay, well, perfect. Then allow them to be on an even playing field. If you really care about these people, allow them to be on an even playing field. And that's exactly what GS Partners has done. So let me kind of explain how this works. You can come in and you can pay nothing. And you can take your cryptocurrency, which is the G999, and you can stake it. What, what does that even mean? I could take, you know, say I just want to buy G999. I want to invest in it. I want to buy it, whatever. So right now it's a little less than a penny. So I buy it. Then I, I want to hold it because I don't want to sell it yet. Most people, when they get into an, an ICO, which is an initial coin offering, as opposed to an IPO, which is an initial public offering, an ICO or whatever, and they get in early, they want to hold for a while. You don't you don't get in an ICO to sell it the next day. Well, what if you want to hold it for six months or a year or whatever? So now staking is very popular, but you can come in and you can stake the coin and pay nothing, and you can make 1.75%, not too exciting, or you can pay an annual fee of 149, receive almost 3,500 coins when you do it, receive all sorts of different discounts and all these benefits listed for the 149, and on top of it, you can earn up to 11.99% staking. That means if you held your coin and just kept it in your wallet for a year, you'd make 9.99% compounding every month. So you're actually making more than 11.99% APY. They just put because it compounds at 9.99 every month for 12 months. Go look up staking. It's, it's a huge, it's part of the DeFi stuff, right? The DeFi movement. Go look it up right now, the average pools, the average community pools. Ethereum maxes out at a little over 8%. Cardano is right around 7%. A lot of these coins, 11.99%, are you kidding me? So you can go in there and say, hey, I'm going to help you come into this program and we're going to help you get these coins before they go hot. And I'll tell you why I believe they're going to be really hot quickly. And we're going to allow you to stake them. You're going to hold them into a community node and all you're doing is paying $149 a year, and you can earn up to 11.99% if you do this pool. If you do this pool, you can earn a 5.5%. If you do this one, you can earn 7.5%. There's different options, right, from different people depending on how many coins they have. If you look at any cryptocurrency, every pool is different. If you have more coins in a pool, you're going to get higher payouts. Just It's just like it is here. But at the same time, most of those cryptocurrencies, they're not paying you a residual income on top of it for referring other people. So what are we doing? We're saying, okay, we're going to help you save money on remittances, number one. Number two, let's talk about a passive income, true passive income, legal passive income, compliant passive income, staking. Everything from crypto is moving over from proof of concept to proof of staking right now. It's all moving over. Ethereum 2.0, all, all those proof of staking, proof of staking. Because it helps people to hold it. Why do they want people to hold their coins? It creates stability. The biggest argument with cryptocurrency right now, it's simple. It's volatile. Why would I do it? It can drop 40% in a day. And well, you know, the, the coins that are allowing staking pools, for example, Cardano, 65% of Cardano holders stake. So it's creating a more stable coin. And a lot of coins are going to that model. And it's smart. We're going to that model. That's one way people can come in. The average Joe can come in and earn money. They can earn money on a unit level down nine levels without paying a dime. They can stake without paying a dime and earn some money. But if you do pay, because there's nothing wrong with this, you can incentivize people. Well, you know what? Pay a little more and now you can make a lot more money. Yes, you can come in for free. You can come in because you're in a, an area that you just you just you want to do it so bad, but you can't afford the annual fee. What if you work a little bit, and then you earn enough commission and use that commission to pay the annual fee, and then then you can earn more. You can become members of our infinity pools. Did you know you can receive a bonus on infinity pools with just ten thousand dollars in your entire downline in a thirty day period? 10,000 in your whole team. 
infinity levels deep. That's why they call it an infinity pool. You will be put in the pools. You will earn bonuses. And guess what we pay you in? Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin last year at this time was six thousand, about $6,800 12 months ago. Now it's almost $60,000. Ethereum was between $1 and $200, and it's about $2,000 right now. It's about a 15 to 20x on Ethereum, over a 10x on Bitcoin in the last year. And then on top of that, you have account, an account and a card, a MasterCard that you can spend anywhere. MasterCard is accepted, right? All over the world. We're open in 100 countries. You can take your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or seven other cryptos we have in our back office, and you can say, hey, let's move that over to the card for 2 to 3%. That's it, 2 to 3%. You move it over the card, you swipe it, and you can spend your cryptocurrency anywhere you want on a MasterCard because it's no longer crypto. It's now on your MasterCard. I've done it. I've done it multiple times. And on top of that, we're going to, here in June, we're going to offer gold savings accounts, crypto savings accounts, loans against your G999. That's a DeFi, right? Decentralized financing, which is one of the hottest things in cryptocurrency. We're going to allow you to take loans against your G999. And we're going to allow short bonds, insurance, full banking services, to become the first true decentralized bank. Tell me that doesn't have mass appeal. If you want to hold a team together, you need customers to come into a platform. You want to use it, whether they want to earn a big income or not. They want it. There's a need there. You feel the need. Warren Buffett always says, if you want to make money in business, you find a need and you fill it. That's what we're doing. We're not here to play games. We're here to dominate this space and be the first to market with what we're doing. And on top of that, for all you really savvy business guys, we're putting together a white label program for our card to offer to business owners and to union heads and to anybody who just wants to get the card out. Hey, pay your employee with this card and guess what? You get paid on swipes. What if you can put together a couple deals and say, hey, you know what, I'd like to. What business owner is going to say, oh, no, absolutely not. You know how many people like to pay their employees on cards? Happens all the time. Happens all the time. These have been around a while. Not, not like this card because you get paid on the swipes and stuff. So the employer says, okay, listen, I will allow my employees. I will give them this card and I will allow them to have all the benefits it's almost like a, an employee's perks program, right? So you can go in there and say, hey, you can save on travel, you can save on shopping, you can save on that just by swiping this card. If you're into crypto, even better, you can move it around. If you send money to family members in this place, that place is free, all this kind of thing. Think of how amazing that is. And every single time one of them swipe that card and use their MasterCard, you get paid. So does the employer who set their employee up. The employer is like happy as heck because he, he or she is thinking, oh, this is great. Every time they're swiping, I'm getting a commission on it. And my employees love it because they're receiving benefits for being a cardholder and having a GSL account. Oh, it's a win-win all the way across the board. You know how many of the, of, if you work this right, you know how many cards you can have out in circulation? Do you need a massive downline of hundreds of thousands of people if you have, 10, 15 employers that have thousands of employees out there swiping a card every day? You know how much money you would make a month? One to two dollars per month per card swiper. So you have 10,000 people out there swiping, that's $20,000 a month you're earning. And guess what? You're not having to work with a downline. You're not going to, you're just, they're customers out there swiping a card. So this crosses over from just the realm of MLM to regular good old business. Go out there and get a few of those accounts set up. And wait till you see all the other products and services they're adding to the sucker. One thing that they're really smart, go to the NFT market. So we talked about DeFi. Okay, loans against your assets on the decentralized loans, financing, all that kind of stuff. The ability to stake, we, ha we have it. 
We have it. A community that's growing by 30,000 plus people a month. So more eyeballs on our token that you can gobble up right now for less than a cent. You can throw it in a community pool and just stake it. Then after years, sell it. What if it goes up to 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents, whatever it may be? You're making more money on your staking, and then you pull out your coins, and you're not losing any of the principal because all your coins are in that account. So if you stake it, you're getting paid on it, but you're not losing. It doesn't cost you any coins to stake. So very, very amazing what you're able to do. On top of that, you're getting paid down nine levels on a unit level plan, number one. And that's if you're not a paying uh, member. If you pay the one forty nine or nine ninety nine uh, uh, annual membership, depending on which one you want, because they have different benefits. But even the one forty nine, then you can take part in the infinity pools and the bonus pools, and you make more money, and it's a significant amount of more money. It really is. I I I earned a pretty nice little chunk my first month, uh, and I I didn't have thousands of people on my team. I had a gentleman on our team said he had 66 active members his first month and he made over $5,000. $5,000 with 66 members. That's what he made last month, his first month. I mean, I did a little better than that because I had a couple hundred active members. But that's incredible. That's incredible. And guess what? A lot of these people are going to stay. Retention is the key to wealth. You've got to retain your business if you want to be wealthy. Then you've got to have a plan, a short-term plan, a mid-term plan, and a long-term plan. You can do that here. What if you say, okay, I've got all this G999, and I'm staking it. That's my short-term plan, right? I'm making money off the staking, and I'm going to hold it till the value goes up. Then I'm going to sell it. That's my mid-term plan. And then, since we've got Gold Standard Bank, what happens if crypto starts to slide a little bit or you know, evens out or just doesn't? Then... Roll the crypto you have and put it into our gold savings accounts and make money there. A long-term plan. You just you have this is a wealth generating system that we have through banking, through DeFi, and then the non-fungible, where people are going to be coming onto our blockchain offering their products and services to our downlines anytime they purchase any of the products and services from your downline. Guess what? You get paid on that too. You get paid on all of it. Any product or service that is sold in your downline, whether it's a third party coming in to offer products or service, and it's what we do, we do with e-commerce or anything else, you get paid on all of it. This is a viable business, a long-term business. And guess what your overhead for this business is? Between $20 and $35 a month if you're a card holder. $149 a year or nine ninety nine a year, depending on what benefits you want. That's it. Hundred forty nine. Take the one forty nine. Take the twenty. It's thirty dollars a month, and you can make that up like that. So one membership a year, you're going to make that. And what are you going to do on on the staking? And what are you going to do? What I mean, just all these different things that you have. People need to understand the magnitude of what GS Partners is in GSL. So there's two different companies that I play here. GS Partners, we're the marketing arm for GSL, GS Lifestyles. That's a bank. That's a back office. That's a, all the savings programs. It's all the, all the all the stuff they're adding to the back office, the GSL, GS Lifestyles. All of that is there for you. And the GS Partners, that's a marketing arm, and we're just getting paid and paid residuals for referring people to it. On top of all the benefits that we're already receiving, will receive all the residuals off of referrals. And so when you talk about a business plan and you say, okay, can anybody join this business? Yes. Can you afford free? Yeah, I think so. I think every, anybody can afford free. You know how excited people get when they make their first commission here and they haven't been paid yet? <laughs> they get really excited. They start singing like a bird. You know how fast your team grows when that happens? Or if they do pay, they say, you know what? No, I want the annual membership because I want all these benefits on day one. And I know I'm going to refer people, so I want it. So go ahead because I don't want to miss. My, I mean, by not paying it, you're 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 missing out on more money, right? But you can earn without, but you're going to earn more with it. 
go become a card holder, do all that kind of stuff, go swipe the card, show people how it works, show people, hey, I just transferred my Bitcoin over to here, my Ethereum over to here, whatever it may be. Check this out. That works really well. That's amazing. That's an amazing sales tool that you've got there. And you can show them all these benefits that they have on this card. And and when people say, well, you know what? I have a BitPay card. I say, okay, cool. You have a preloadable Visa card. That's what you've got. You don't have full banking with that. You don't have the ability for residuals with that. You don't have any of the other stuff. You have, we have everything you have. We just have a whole lot more. A whole lot more. It's not even close. I put a comparison chart right here in this group earlier today to show people the glaring differences. They're not even close. We've had people look at this that have been banking in their entire life, and they're like, wow, we've heard some pretty amazing statements. That, oh my gosh, what you guys have right here, oh my, you know, I want to white label it. John, I want to white label it because you guys have a full platform here. And we have a full ecosystem to create value for our coins and our coin holders. You know what? It was, it was amazing when Joseph was talking about a week or so ago. He said, I don't, I don't really expect to profit for seven to 10 years. I want to just keep putting money and investing money in and men into this business. And I want to offer so many products and services that nobody ever wants to leave our ecosystem. Do you know why? Because the more people swipe in that card within our ecosystem, the more they're burning G999. And that they're decreasing that coin. They're just constantly decreasing the coin as far as the overall amount of coins, which could only potentially increase its value. And that's where corporate is going to clean up because they own a lot of G999. I'm sure they're holding a lot of it. So are we. And right now, you can come and get the stuff for a penny. And you can go to the average person and say, all right, get people swiping a card and you can get a residual income. Get people getting an annual membership for $149 and they get $3,500 coins with it. They get all sorts of discounts. They get all this kind of stuff with it. Uh, they can earn more money and you get a residual from it. Get into the pools. Here's what's really cool. For $10,000 a month, you can become a director. That includes purchases of G999. So you don't get, if somebody buys G999, you don't get paid that day. It goes into your overall sales numbers though, your sales volume. And it goes for you reaching those pools, those infinity pools where 11% of the profit of the company or of the revenue coming in for that month goes into these pools and whoever's in those pools, they split that revenue and they get nice big fat bonuses. I know I got one in my first month. I was excited about it. I also got 65,000 bonus G999. I was pretty darn excited, but I wasn't expecting that. That was a pretty fun thing to see on top of the other bonuses I got. And I didn't have to have a massive team. But I want you to think about how big can you create your team by giving them a MasterCard with all of these benefits. By taking advantage of the white label program, white labeling meaning other companies could put their name, their logo on it, and use it for their employees, their distributors. We have gentlemen right now that own MLMs that want to pay their own distributors with our card. How cool is that? So all the distributors, they have 100,000 distributors and you got that deal and you're making $1 to $2 per month per distributor, you're making 100000 to $200,000 a month and you have one person on your team. <laughs> That's it. I mean, that kind of stuff can happen here. That's the kind of potential that this company has. And let's talk about it being around for a long time. Did you know Gold Standard Bank, they're going public this year. They're going public. It's being announced in June. And guess what we get as members? We get first dibs at that. We may be able to earn equity, purchase stuff, the shares for very little because we're first, the first people to be able to see it, have opportunities to see it. They're doing a huge launch in June, either in Monaco or if COVID restricts them, they're going to have to do it virtual, which is fine. But on top of that, they're opening a big office in Dubai. And guess what they're going to put in the office? This will surprise you. A whole fleet, a whole bunch of AC Cobra electric cars <laughs> are going to be in the bottom floor. Because guess what? They just bought a whole fleet of cars that they're going to be selling and offering and anyone within your network, if they buy a car, guess who gets paid a commission? Goes up line, goes up line, goes up line. 
any of the other stuff, products and services, which they're going to add a lot to this. And here's the cool thing is they already have a card. The card already works. Paid on swipes, April 15th. April 15th, paid on swipes. I've earned commission every single day I've been a member of this company. Every single day I've earned commission. And on the 15th of each month, I earn on the $20 spend when they pay for the card for the month, or $35, depending on which card they have. And I also earn on swipes. But when people do their annual fee or they purchase a card, I get paid in real time. When they purchase products and services on that, we're going to get paid in real time because it goes through the blockchain. So it goes through company, we get paid just like that. Get commissions all day, every day. And it's not a money game, which is even better. It's not a pay to play. This is a very legitimate business. And I'm going to talk about something here too. Because this is a question that comes up. I'm a fool. This is all, all me tonight. So let's talk about the company that tried this three, four years ago. And they came out. And it's called Carrot Bars, right? And we know about Carrot Bars. And so some people say, oh, no, this is a Carrot Bars too. Point on. I said, no, no, it's not. Because <laughs> we have a lot of stuff Carrot Bars does not have, including different owners, <laughs> number one. But they came out with a coin three, four years ago, and they said, listen, we're going to back this coin by gold. We're going to back it by gold, and this is what we're going to do. At the time, about three, four years ago, well, the regulators weren't caught up to crypto. They were just, they're still kind of like trying to figure this all out. So at the time, it was perfect, and they could do it because there wasn't a lot of regulation. But in that process, as they were putting that together, the laws had changed. And if you're going to back this by gold, you're going to have to file it this way. You're going to have to do it this way. And it could be a security and it could be that. And da, 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 da. So they were running into all those issues. So what happened? They said, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. The owner said, let's just keep pushing forward. And Joseph, the main investor, not an owner at the time, but main investor, he said, no, 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 no. You know, we're going to have to be compliant. We're going to have to go redo it as a utility token. We can't back it by gold. We can't do this and this and this because they're not going to allow us to do it this way. We're going to have to go another avenue. So there was a breakup. There was a divorce, right? It just, he went this way. They went that way. So all these people, they were holding their G99 and they're thinking, oh, what the heck just happened? I have a coin now. It's worthless. So he said, well, no, 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 no. I'm going to save this. I'm going to revamp this company. So he, he took a year and a half, two years. Hired a team of about 40 attorneys, partnered with Naveo Bank, brought us a MasterCard, turned the whole thing out, created the G99, redid it as a utility versus being backed by gold, and said, okay, we're going to need to build a community to bring in use cases for this coin, which they've done. They've successfully done, and they keep doing more and more, and they're building it more and more. 90,000 people now in this community and growing every day. Staking, which is DeFi. The NFT with the open source blockchain. Everything that they're doing, it's incredibly smart. Marketing, all sorts of stuff that they're doing. So what? when people say, oh, this is a care bar, it's totally put on. I say, no, no, it's not. It's not even close. I mean, it same, you know, it's gold and black and all that. I get that. But it is completely revamped. It's done because you had a guy that was smart enough and savvy enough to say, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it the right way. It's going to take longer. So there was a breakup. So now this is what they're coming with. And now they have everything we need. Do you really think in a million years that Naveo has been around forever and a day and is the issuer of this MasterCard is going to partner with someone who's not compliant and put their name on the MasterCard that they're issuing for us, not in a million years that's going to happen. Not in a million years. So this, you're right, not even close. But but this, this is important to know because when people ask those questions, you've got to know what happened. See, one thing about me, I like to do due diligence. I was offering a bank and a card with the company for a year and a half. And I really thought they were going to get the bank. They were going to care. And they didn't. It just didn't happen. And it sucked. And it sucked for a lot of us in it. But now I feel so redeemed. I feel so... I love the fact I can pull out my card and say, here it is. Here it is. And guess what? I'm swiping. And it's working. And everything works. Because they did it the right way. And they have the backing. They have... When you look at a company, 
that you want to work and you want to put your blood, sweat, and tears into this company, make sure they have good financing. Make sure they have the capital. Make sure they have the partnerships with the bank first. Make sure they have the working card. Make sure they have what they say they are going to have, which this company does. And then make sure that anybody can participate because that creates mass appeal. That's what's going to build your downline, turn it from 500 people over a year or two to 50,000 people, 100,000 people. If you don't have mass appeal, if you have a niche like trading or you know a product that's weight loss and it's been saturated throughout the universe, you're not chances of you creating a downline that big or slim to none, and that's why only one to three percent of the people make money in this industry. That's why, because most of the companies can't keep people in, or they don't have enough mass appeal for your the opportunity to be good enough for you. It's not that one percent of the people are smarter than everybody else. They just got in early and they just got it. They, they're able to hit critical mass, but then re attrition comes and it just eventually that 1%, they're on to the next company a couple years later. I've seen it. I've seen people make a fortune in one company only to see the company go bye bye a year and a half later because of attrition. Not even compliance, attrition. Because the people at the bottom can't afford to stay in. If you can say, hey, come in for free. Create a passive income by staking. Are they ever going to go anywhere? Where are they going to go? They're staking. They're earning a passive income. And then they pay a little bit of money. And now they're staking and they're getting higher rewards. And they keep getting paid in these staking pools. They keep getting paid and paid and paid. Are they going anywhere? Do you think they're going to stick around and then when more products and services come out and they're happy because they're making a passive income on staking, do you think just maybe they might buy some other products and services within this ecosystem? Do you think they're going to be happy with this company that's paying them a passive income for staking? What is that going to do for retention? Retention creates wealth. It just does. Attrition creates frustration and headaches, and you're like, oh, I just built this whole freaking team and they're gone. Has that ever happened to any of you? Retention creates wealth. Remember that. Because that's what it takes to create wealth, long-term wealth. And as your team is being retained and growing and growing, then your 100,000 people are truly 100,000 people. So I was like, oh, I got a team of 100,000 people. Yeah, but you only have 5,000 that are active. So really, you only have a team of 5,000 people. I don't count unless they're active. What if you had a team of 100,000 people and 90,000 plus are active? Because retention is excellent because people can make a passive income for little to nothing. Because our products are worth what they're paying for each month. $20 a month, you get 2 to 3% exchange rate fees from crypto to fiat you have a card you have a full bank in the back office you can use it and it's not just a preloadable and that's it and then the the what we said with uh um sending money back and forth the remittances all those savings not to mention you know again and here in a couple of months the opportunity to have gold savings accounts crypto savings accounts short bonds loans insurance all sorts of stuff on top of more products and services that are coming in, that are just going to keep coming in, the ability to to take part in a uh, IPO, to potentially earn shares in the bank. Do you think people are going to go anywhere? Why would they? If you don't give them a reason to leave, they won't leave. And if you can offer somebody a business opportunity like this, where your downline doesn't have a reason to leave, why wouldn't you want to do it? Why wouldn't you want to do it? What what I love to see, one of the reasons I love about uh, uh, network marketing in this business is I love to see other entrepreneurs. I learn from them. I grow from them. I watch them. I observe them. But it also attracts a lot of people that want to become entrepreneurs. They're not quite there yet. They want to be entrepreneurs, but they're just not quite there. 
one thing I learned a long time ago, and I really, really want to drive this point home. You're going to be frustrated at times. You're going to have setbacks at times. It's going to happen. Keep pushing. Keep going forward. Know that this company is so solid with finances, finances, capital, two banks, two banks, and a lot more coming. I, I wish I could tell you more. I have to kind of be quiet. But just phenomenal capital and funding and leadership and support and just experience and something that has mass appeal. Mass appeal. You've got all of that here. And a company that's doing everything to be compliant with the legal and, and everything they're doing. And, and then you can cross over to a different world and say, it's not even MLM anymore because I can sign up a business owner once we white label and get employees on this. What does that have to do with a freaking downline? To make money on that. This is a real viable business for anybody who wants to recognize it. So if you get caught up on something, you wake up and you just have a bad day and you say, oh my gosh, uh, you know, I'm just having a, a clash, a personality clash with this person on my team. Or, you know what, I, I, I wanted to become a, a rising block star, but I ran out of time. And oh my goodness, I, I'm just done. I quit. If your mind is there, I'm just being very honest with you. Maybe you're not ready to be an entrepreneur yet. Maybe you're not quite there. But you can get there. All of us can get there. But your mindset has got to get you. He's got to be there. You've got to look at the bigger, broader picture of things. Yeah, you may have missed Rise and Blockstar. So what? Doesn't mean you're going to miss Director in the future. Doesn't mean that all the other opportunities you're going to have to earn and earn and earn and, and offer all these offerings you're going to have. Don't mess it up. Don't miss out on all of it because you're hung up on one thing and you get become frustrated and then therefore you just kind of stop and you quit. Entrepreneurs don't quit. Quit is not even in their vocabulary. I don't even know what that word means. I don't want to know what that word means. Entrepreneurs adapt and they learn and they pivot and they work. And their mindset is just, it's one speed. And they just go, go, go until they get the job done. If you want wealth and you want sustainable wealth, then you've got to learn to do what it takes to get sustainable wealth. Do you think Steve Jobs ever had a setback? Do you think Elon Musk ever had a setback? Do you think any of these guys ever had a setback? Every single self-made man or woman has had setbacks. Every single one of them is part of the journey, is part of the ride. I can tell you right now, the $20 a month you spend as a card holder, you get all the benefits. Because I, I had this question the other day, John, why would a consumer pay $20 a month? I said, I don't know. Why would a consumer want to send money across the world for free? Why would a consumer want to be able to cash his or her cryptocurrency out for two to three percent and spend it on a mastercard i don't i don't know why would they want all these benefits why would they want to save 30 percent on travel i don't know why would they want to earn a residual income for referring a few people why would they want to stake and earn passive income you know i answer their questions with a bunch of questions they're like okay i get it john i get it <laughs> Of course, and, and when they, when they, and we're just getting started. Wait until we have the customer program. Wait to see what that looks like. Then right now we just have the member program. Wait till we see their customer program. But I'll tell you right now on this team, we're having a blast. Hey, Trevor, how's it going? I had us call. Tra sorry, I had to say hi to Trevor. He, we, we, we talk all the time. And we're always laughing. Trevor's another. We have so many leaders on this team. Here's a gentleman. I'm going to give a shout out, Trevor. Don't get, don't have your face turned red. He retired in this industry at age 31. And he'll be the first one to tell you when I contacted him about this one and he looked at it, he saw it, he called me and said, oh my, dude, dude, 
This is the best thing I've seen in 35 years. Because of all the reasons I've given you, the average person can earn. We're going to take that 1% to 3% and we're going to flip it on his head. I don't want 1% to 3% of my team earning. That's BS. I want 97% earning on my team. I want 100% earning on my team. That's what I want. Go stake. Go earn a passive income. Go earn on swipes. Go do, you know, you know knock yourself out. You're not, you're not buying an overpriced weight loss supplement here. You're not putting money into a company that's guaranteeing you a 1% day only to be shut down six months later. Then you're taking phone calls from your friend that just put 10 grand in there saying, oh, I don't know what the hell just happened to your money, but uh, I got to go. You know, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. If you want safe, if you want secure, you want compliant, you want a real business opportunity, it's right here. And you can make this as big as you want. And the leadership on this team, I'm telling you, it's great. I love it. I love these, these guys and gals and all these people I get to talk to every day. I think it's worth 20 bucks a month just to come learn. Come learn from people that have been top earners in this industry because there's a lot of them right here on this team, just on this team alone, not just not the company. There's a lot, a lot in the company. Would you pay $20 a month to learn how to build like the pros? You know how many trainings and stuff we do as a team? We're constantly training. We're, we're constantly trying to help people and lift our team up. That's what we do. That's what leaders do. I've paid 20 bucks a month just for that aspect alone, to learn how to become an entrepreneur. How many of you went to school for four years and paid thousands of dollars to learn to work for somebody else? How many of us did that? A lot of us, right? Entrepreneurs, they think differently. We just think differently. We're wired differently. I don't know what it is. Think outside the box. Allow yourself to learn. Be humble. Be hungry. And come learn to earn. So I always tell people, learn to earn. If you can do that with a real opportunity, the sky's the limit for you. GS Partners has given us such an amazing opportunity, and we're just beginning. We're at the very baby stages of this thing, and it's already paid out over $9 million in commissions in the first three months in the baby stages. If you're a builder at all, you should be salivating right now. You should have an I just seriously, you should be salivating as a builder. And as if you if you're a newbie or someone who's never earned money in this industry, you should also be salivating because this is right here. The opportunity is right here. That's why Trevor called me and said, Oh my gosh, John, 35 years in this industry, never seen anything like this. I've had several of those phone calls. Several of them. Because we have something for everyone at every income level in 100 countries. Doesn't matter. What matters is you. The people in this. They need people in their community. They need eyeballs on their coins. They need people swiping the card. Because the more people that swipe, the more they burn. The more people that see their opportunity the more people buy the coins, the more people use them in their community, and therefore the price and value of the coin goes up. They don't want any attrition. So they're going to do everything they can possibly do to help retain your teams, to retain your members, your friends, your family. They're going to do everything they can do to help them profit. This isn't a game this is a long-term business, which is why the bank's going public and why we can be a part of that. So what I would highly recommend doing is telling everybody about this opportunity and learn it. Learn the advantages of the block. You, know, you don't go into a business to do it halfway. If I'm going to open a bakery, I better damn well learn how to bake. Because if I don't learn how to bake, that bakery is not going to last very long, is it? Oh, here's your burnt cupcakes. Here's this. Here's a, you know, whatever it is. Learn it. Learn about blockchain. We did a class a couple nights ago on blockchain and cryptocurrency. 
We're going to keep doing classes on cryptocurrency. We're going to do, as blockchain evolves, we're going to do more classes on that. Just show up. Learn this stuff. Learn why GSL back office just dwarfs people like BitPay and stuff. So when people come to you with these questions, you're going to like, oh, you're just like, you can answer them like that. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Learn your business. Learn your business. Don't go open a massage parlor and not know how to massage. <laughs> Again, see how long that lasts. Don't go coach a football team when you grew up playing basketball. You know, you've got to learn your business. Learn your craft. Learn your trade. Plug into your leaders. Be on these calls. Be on the training calls. Our team does a lot of extra stuff. There is a reason everywhere we go, our team just excels. It just kicks butt because we spend a lot of time and effort training and teaching, and developing, and everybody has access to it. Everyone has access to it, but you got to take the time to do it. And you can be that entrepreneur you want to be, because you're going to learn from people that have been there, done that. You're going to learn from real-life entrepreneurs all the time on this team. And I want to thank my team before I get off tonight, I want to thank everybody who's put in the time, the effort. I've seen it. I've seen so many people help, you know, answer questions and, and you know, you take extra calls and do three-way calls and, and Zooms and stuff. I appreciate you guys so much. Freaking love this team. I've been with a few of you for a couple of years now. And now that we have a bank and a card, you can be excited now. You have my permission to be excited. Go do it. You don't need my permission. But anyway... Either way, you still have it. Be excited. You're allowed to be. Be elated. But don't be lazy, right? <laughs> Go out there and get it because the timing is now. When opportunity and timing come together with what we have right now, take it by the horns and run with it. Go create your legacy for your families, for their families, Future generations, that's the kind of thing we're looking at with this company. I believe this company is going to last a long, long time. I believe this company is one that many of us have been waiting years for. We should be excited about it. It's phenomenal, guys. So with that, we're just going to keep doing these meetings, right? Next week, uh, next Tuesday night, a Zoom, a regular Zoom meeting with the slides and everything. Next Thursday, probably another Zoom. We'll do lives every once in a while, mix it up a little bit. We're going to do trainings. I'll, I'll have my team calendar out right now. Tuesday nights are locked in. 9 p.m. Eastern, every Tuesday and Thursday Zoom meetings. And every once in a while, alive. live. So with that, everybody, I want to wish everybody a great night. And as always, we will talk next time. Good night.